name is Kim Coventry and today I'm going to do a book review on Body for Life by Bill Phillips. And if you haven't had a chance to check out my other videos, please do at Fit Kim TV on YouTube or at my blog, FitKim.com. So this book, um, I first heard about this book from when I was watching the Philosopher's Notes on YouTube. You should check out the channel, it's awesome. And he recommended this book, so I had to get it. And I love this book because a lot of times when you're reading a book on uh, changing your body or getting lean, I feel like it's kind of uh, really restrictive or just very narrow-minded. And I feel like he's super straight up, but he's very realistic, and I agree with him wholeheartedly. So one of the things that's really great about this book is that to start, he first have you set goals, um, get, get a really clear picture of what you want to accomplish. And he goes with a 12-week period for his program. And then what he does is he'll go into all the myths that are out there and he dispels them because to me it's very focused for women because a lot of the misconceptions are geared towards women. Um, for example, one of the things he says is if you're going to lift weights uh, as a woman, you're not going to bulk up. That's what everybody that I talk to when they first are getting into fitness, they're like, I don't want to lift weights because I don't want to get bulky. <laughs> when you lift weights, it's going to help you get lean toned, you, you're not going to be Hulk Hogan overnight. And even if you did get too bulky, you could easily take two weeks off and you would tone right back down. So really, even if you got to that point, you could change it. But he really says it's important that everybody lifts weights of all ages. Um, also, uh, two other things I really like is one that he says is if you exercise too much, you're not going to get results. And I commonly see this at the fitness center that I work at, is that a lot of times women, what they'll do is they will lift weights, then they'll take a cycling class, and then they're back the next morning, you know, taking a weightlifting class, and then uh, they're going to be on the treadmill for an hour, then they'll come back later that next day, later that day and swim, and they're not really seeing progress. They're just killing themselves. I mean, they're spending so much time in the gym. I feel so sorry for them because they're working so hard. Well, the problem is they're not really getting, giving their bodies any time to rest. And what they want to do, and what he says to do, which I agree with, is go for short, shorter workouts with super high intensity. When I work out, I work out. I'm not messing around. I don't want to be there all day long, and I want to get a kick butt workout in a super short period of time. So go for the shorter intensities. I, I want to say he says work out three or four times a week, and that's it. It's very minimal, but you'll see in the book, he really makes sure you get a great workout when you're working out. And the last thing that he says, which I love, is that when you're working out or if you want to tone your body down and really get lean, you need to eat more food. And this is so common for women. When they start a fitness program, all of them will start restricting their calories. I'm talking 1,200, 1,400 calories a day, which is your body basically needs that just to survive. So you're not going to be able to fuel your body feed your muscles with what it needs if you're restricting your calories. So he talks about you need to be eating more food. He talks about eating six times a day, which I do and I agree with it. It's just great for your body, keeps your metabolism going. So there's so many other good points in this book, but those are my favorites. So I highly recommend this book, Body for Life by Bill Phillips, and I'll have it on my blog. And if you have any feedback, if you've read this book, post a comment. If you've followed his program and have, and have gotten results, please post a comment. We'd love to hear that. So thanks for watching, and I hope you like this. Please subscribe at FitKimTV on YouTube, and check out my blog at FitKim.com. Thanks, and have a great day.